Greetings, owners of fine luxury cardboard rectangles. We are here today to talk about change. The channel has to change. You may actually even have noticed, it looks like I've got like a, a wider field of view. There are a number of changes that are coming to the channel out of necessity. You will notice one of them right away. The fact that I didn't start out by saying something like, oh, hoobity joobity goo, and then all of a sudden we launch into the intro music, and then here I am with my greetings owners of fine luxury cardboard rectangles. Well, this is going to be the way things are done going forwards. We're going to have me just starting to talk to you right away. That's one of the changes that we are looking at. Now I'm going to go over all the changes and I'll go over why these changes are necessary because I want to continue to entertain you guys and hang out. I got a I got a nice seat for you. Here let me let me clear it off. Pull pull, pull up a seat, friend, and we'll have a chat. I'm gonna, that would actually probably not be the best angle. Anyhow, anyhow, let me continue. What's going on is the channel has to change for a number of reasons. So the first change I outlined for you was that beginning stuff. We're, we're no longer going to have the intro song. I know some people are going to miss it, and I understand, but when you listen to everything, you'll probably get why I had to make these changes. And even if you don't get why I made these changes, unfortunately, they still have to happen. That's just the way it has to go. So the other change that you're going to notice is at the end of videos, and that's the golden scroll. The Golden Scroll will no longer be rolling by on the screen with all the names of the people who are supporting me on Patreon or through channel members. From now on, that list will be in the description below. And there are, there are a couple of reasons for that one. One is it's easier to update, but that's a side reason. Now, to get into the heart of the matter, it ties in to my editor, the lovely Carly, the love of my life. Now, for those of you who don't already know, some of you do, some of you don't, she has fibromyalgia. And I'm not going to go into all the specifics of it, but what it is, is it's a disability that there is currently no cure for. And as time progresses, this gets worse. And it leads to her being in pain all day, every day. Now, you guys wouldn't notice it in most cases. When you see her in the Down the Hatch videos with me, when you see her coming by, in the streams and stuff like that she seems really really nice and friendly and she is she's a real sweetheart she doesn't allow her disability to define her existence however the way that i i, I try to come up with a way to describe it to people who don't know what it's like to live with it but i want you to think of a video game and a character you know how you have your hit points and your magic points well your magic points are like how many different abilities you can use well with carly her capabilities of what she can do in any given day are limited by her magic points. I choose magic because if I think about it in health points, I'll start to get really sad. And I'm trying to keep it together for this video in terms of not getting really emotional about it and keeping an upbeat, upbeat perspective about this because there are actually some advantages to the changes that are coming too. So she can only do so much in a given day. Right? She is my editor. She's the one who edits my videos. She also does other things around the house. She'll go and pick up groceries. She'll make dinner for us. I do things around the house as well. But when you're living with somebody with a disability, you don't want to just go, you know what, I'll do absolutely everything. Because that puts them in a box and makes them feel like they're not contributing. And also it can lead to the other person resenting the other partner, even though, like, hey, they're disabled. I personally don't resent her at all. I think we have a really nice, healthy relationship. But I do recognize the potential that if I had to do everything all the time, I could see how some people would start to feel burnt out by that. And you need to, you need to find the balance. But that's not what this is about. This is about what's going down with the videos. So she does different things throughout the day and everything she does, every click of the mouse causes her pain, right? Now, there's a part of me that wants to be like, don't do everything, I'll take care of everything. But again, we cover that. You need to, you need to give people a sense of autonomy and she wants to feel like she's contributing and editing gives her, gives her meaning, like it gives her purpose as well. So I'm not taking that away from her. We will still have videos edited by her on the channel. So if you're thinking to yourself, oh no, are we looking at a situation where there won't be any more lore videos? Don't worry. We'll still have lore videos and she'll do the editing on those. We'll still have fun down the hatch videos where she does all the fun editing. All that stuff is still going to be a part of the program 100%. But videos like, if you look at the video I put out earlier today talking about the Magic Netflix show, it doesn't really need any editing if you look at it on the surface. She doesn't have to edit in any images into the video or any of that stuff. But the process goes like this. 
I record the video, then I hand it off to her. Then she has to load up her editing software, put that, put the video I've recorded in, grab the little intro part that I've done, edit out the middle, put in the intro music, go and put up the golden scroll, anybody who needs to be into the golden scroll, and push that all together. And that's just for a video like the one I did today. But none of that needs to be done. We can save her when we need to bring out the big guns. And when we're doing a lore video where we talk about all these different cards, she'll be there to edit those. But in terms of videos like the one earlier today, it could easily be shot in this fashion, where we just talk, and I know how to go into YouTube and just remove the beginning and the end where I'm actually reaching over and shutting off the phone. So it still looks, in most cases, like a normal video. It just won't be sandwiched between the two things you're used to seeing starting and ending my videos. So that's a change that you will need to adjust to. And also, for consistency's sake, I'm not going to have the videos that she edits include a little hoobity jubity beginning and then the intro music. We are from now on going to start with the straight up greetings owners of fine luxury cardboard rectangles. Just so that there's a consistency across the channel. So it's not like some videos are going to have the golden scroll edited in and some won't. Now I still want to give full credit to everybody who's supporting my channel financially. All my patrons, all my channel members, you will be lovingly listed in the description of each of my videos here. So that, that will be shifted to a different location. Instead of rolling on the screen over my beautiful face, instead you'll be able to see it listed in the description. This will actually allow me to keep it more updated because sometimes what would happen is I would record videos in advance and the golden scroll wouldn't match. So people would contact me and say, hey, I'm not on the golden scroll. What happened? Did I do something wrong? Are you angry at me? All these kind of things that weren't the case at all. It was just like, hey, I recorded these in advance. But there's a way that I can set it up that whenever a video goes up, YouTube will automatically load my patrons and channel members list into the credit description. So that will actually make things easier in that regard and keep it more accurate. And on that note, if there is anybody who feels like I'm, I was only in, in Patreon or whatever because I wanted to see my name on the end screen of your videos and you no longer feel like it's worth supporting me, I understand if you want to stop supporting me. I also know that some people think, oh, you shouldn't make videos like this explaining everything out because people will be like, oh, you said this and I'm holding you to this and all these other things. But I really think it's important to be transparent with you guys. This will be the equipment that I'm recording videos on. It is different than the camera that I was using before, but unfortunately, using that requires Carly to edit videos. And with this camera, it's on my phone, so I have the ability to directly upload the videos to YouTube and edit them appropriately without having to involve her at all. Now, the upshot to this, because it's not all, it's not all downside in terms of, and you may not even consider it downside if you don't consider, if you don't care about the intro and you don't care about the golden scroll, then this really isn't much of a change at all. We're still going to make the same kind of content. None of that's changing. But the upshot is it will actually allow me to make more content. Because in I don't know if you guys remember before, but I used to make more videos. I used to put out multiple videos a day. But I had to pull that back because of what was going on with Carly and me not wanting to overload her. So we changed to a system where I would record a video a day in advance and this would allow her all day to figure out when she wanted to edit it, do it when she was at her most rested. All these things came together to make it easier for her to edit the videos. But the downside to that was it would mean I was always kind of one step behind with the news. Now, when something new comes along, if I want to do a video on it, I can sit down and record it. We're not required to have her available. It frees her up to have more ability to go to the gym and do other things as well. It allows her to have her more of a free schedule without feeling like absolutely every day she has to be available to edit videos. Because I can see sometimes how much she gets stressed. And again, she's in a period of this stress now. And I sat down and brainstormed, how do we get out of this? What do we do? And this was the solution that I came up with that seems best for everybody involved. It allows me to create all the content that I want to. It gives her a break from editing. It keeps the lore videos and other interesting videos that can be edited. And it also allows me to give more attention to my other channel as well, which is uh, for those of you who thought it was going to be called The Boss Monster, I decided to just change the name to My Catcher because I'm going to talk about a variety of subjects there. There will be funny Boss Monster-esque videos over there, but there will be other things as well. I value my creative freedom, and honestly, after losing my LGS and the job that goes along with it, 
I'm looking now to embrace the concept and just fully push towards being a full-time entertainer. So when I mentioned before about people dropping off of Patreon or channel memberships, I genuinely understand if you want to. I would appreciate it if you don't because I'm actually trying to build up enough to be able to pay for all of our bills. I am the sole provider for me and Carly together. So as a result, it's like I, and that that is in no way saying you don't have to support the channel for that reason. And I'm not saying it to try and solicit more from you. I want people to support this channel because they feel the entertainment is worth it and not because they, they feel obligated or that it's charity, all right? I've got a bit of an ego and I want to feel like what I do is worth the money. Now, I just, I feel like being 100% transparent and it's difficult to tell exactly what level of information to give out in a video like this. They don't make guides for how to do this. When it comes to YouTube, I'm just kind of feeling my way in the dark and sometimes I'll bump into some, ah, my leg, you know, and just like, that's the kind of scenario we're dealing with. So I'm, I'm making as small changes as I can to allow myself to give her more freedom, me more freedom. It should in the end mean more content. I have actually a pile of booster packs where I wanna bring back the whole pack a day boosted awareness series where we talk about uh, like different aspects of magic packs. So I have these set aside. On that note, if anybody has anything they wanna send in for magic or other games that you would like me to check out, I plan to expand my offerings into other games on this channel as well and we'll have some other fun stuff happening over on the channel that was supposed to be called the boss monster channel but will now just be reskinned as my catcher and with this process that i've got now i will be able to create more content more quickly and for a lot of people i know in all honesty if it's not a lore video with a whole bunch of stuff going on on the screen you're just going to have me on in the background anyways so these changes aren't really going to make a difference for you and in a way I mean, first of all, the, the golden scroll part at the end of a video was just rolling over me talking. So you're not going to get less content at that point. That was just me thanking the people who are supporting me. And I'll still do that with them listed in the description. So at most, this would be trimming my videos down by maybe like 10 seconds. The beginning little like quip and the intro music. So I understand that for nostalgia's sake, some people will miss that. If you want to say you're going to miss it in the comments, go ahead. Anybody who acts all demandy and pretends like I owe them or have to keep it in, I will ignore you because you're being unreasonable. But people who are just, you know what, I don't really like change and I really liked like your intro, I liked seeing you, I liked the, the music and everything, I understand Things have changed over this channel. There's been a lot of evolutions all the way from the from the beginning when I had like the wizard and the god king. And we will continue to change and innovate. I think that uh, I think that change is good. There's some channels that I've seen that seem to be the exact same thing for years and years, and it gives people a sense of constancy. And I know one of the purposes of content is to pull people out of their everyday life and give them a moment of relaxation away from it. And I want to continue to do that here. I'm looking for that balance where I can do everything. This is just something I realized that I could do yesterday after sitting down and brainstorming and sorting it all out. So there will be some tweaks here, but I want to assure you that I will still be releasing content on a very regular basis. You'll still see me every day. Hopefully this will lead to a ramp up in content and also more timely content when news comes out and I can address it the day of. Now it also does mean that the thumbnails will be different as well. The thumbnails are going to be, for those of you who don't know how YouTube works, you can create your own thumbnails, which were created by Carly. Again, more editing, more hand hit points, more hand MP points, I should say, being used up by her. So instead of having her create thumbnails, which admittedly is something she hates anyway, she really doesn't like doing it, uh, I'm going to just start to use YouTube suggestions. So what'll happen is, when I finish a video and it uploads, YouTube will go, here are th your three options for your thumbnails, which do you want to use? So a lot of the thumbnails are just going to be me like, eh? so all you'll get used to clicking on my handsome face. It'll be fine. So all that being said, I think that I've covered roughly encapsulated how the changes will go forwards. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. This is this is the way that it's going to go. There, there's no this isn't a negotiation. Just so you know, there's no point in uh, like saying, oh, but you could do this, or oh, but you could do that. That's not, it's not going to happen. It's not being like, oh, you could do this for Carly and maybe if you get her this kind of drug, then she'll be comfortable enough to edit or whatever. The truth of the matter is her situation is going to get worse and this is a preemptive sort of thing so she just doesn't hit a wall and fall apart and realize she can't do any of this, okay? So 
Understand that I work under restrictions. I never want to leave you guys. I always want to make content for you. So I will find the compromise in between where hopefully I still deliver to you guys good content, but also, more importantly, take care of my family and loved ones. Because family first, you've got to prioritize that. I never want to be somebody who prioritizes YouTube, any of this entertaining, or making money over the people I care about because that's when I've lost sight of what matters. And just think about it makes me sad. So let's not uh, let's not allow ourselves to stray into that territory. To everybody who continues to have my back, all the people on Patreon, all the people through channel memberships, and those people who send me donations through PayPal or Super Chat, thank you very much for financially supporting the channel. Thank you for helping me to believe enough in myself to believe that I can actually become a full-time entertainer and pay for me and my disabled lady. Again, I don't want anybody to think of this as charity because that's not what I'm looking for. I want to deliver something of actual value to you, that you value. If you value it, awesome. If not, then don't waste your time with what I'm doing because the truth is there's 25 million channels on YouTube and there's bound to be something out there that will make you happy. Seek happiness because life is short and you never know when you're going to get struck down or whatever could happen. So make sure you enjoy yourselves. Now, again, I want to thank all of my supporters. Down below, all channel memberships and Patreon members, you should see your names listed. Please take a moment to review the list and make sure that you are on there because I'm going to be updating it either with this video or another video in the next couple of days where it's going to be an accurate list. So we'll be taking off people who aren't part of the group anymore because the Golden Scroll honestly had a bunch of names in it that weren't part of it anymore. But it's more editing for Carly, so I just left it on because I figured whatever. If anybody's left supporting the channel and their name's still on there, they're not really going to care that their name's still on there. And if they do, they can contact me and I'll take it off. So I should have the list below. If it's not here, that's just because... I couldn't get it all together. I do have to actually have Carly help get me the list and whatever. So it may take a couple days for them to show up in the credits, but that's where they'll be. If it's not in this video, I will let you know when. So take a peek down there. If it is there, make sure you're on the list. And if it's not there, it's coming soon. And sorry that I haven't done it. There's a lot going on in my life recently. And I'm just trying to juggle all these balls without getting them in my mouth. You know what I'm saying? So thanks for being here, my friends. And for now, I'm history, baby.